Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to talk about these small little beeswax ingots that I make. And some of you were curious why I like this size so much. It's extremely simple to make these into a candle. You only need a couple of things. This is cotton yarn, 100% uh, cotton yarn. And what I do is I take this cotton yarn and I dip it in beeswax and then it makes it nice and stiff like this, okay? So what I'll do is I'll cut a small piece of that off, something about that big. Okay, because we just need it deep enough to be a wick. The next thing that I'll do is I'll take a 764 drill bit and I'll take my little drill here, or big drill I should say, and then I'll drill a hole right in the middle of this candle wax here. Make sure I don't drill into my finger. As soon as you see the drill come through the bottom, you can set the drill down and what I like to do is just pop this right down inside. So I'll, I'll push it down until the top is sticking out about a quarter of an inch here and then I just fold the bottom down. Once I fold the bottom down I push it down flat on a, on a flat surface, push it down kind of hard and then I take this excess wax off of the drill and I just kind of pack it around the hole here on the top. The hole that gets created from me drilling. So I'll just kind of pack that around. That'll make a nice little mound. And then from here, we have a completed candle. So this is very similar to like a tea light kind of candle. We just light that baby up. And then as soon as it starts to burn, it'll start melting that wax that we packed around the top and it makes a beautiful candle. So you can use these in place of like tea light candles. And you can put the wick on this top here or you could put them upside down and put the wick on this side. It doesn't really matter because what will happen after time it'll uh, channel a little bit and they're just fantastic candles. So depending on what diameter you have, maybe you have something that this will fit in this way, or maybe you have something that fits in this way. But as you can see, it makes a really nice candle. So right here, I have a little taper, taper candle holder. If I put it in just like that, upside down, you can see that it fits in there just fine. So I could put the wick on the top here. So that's really, what I use these for. It works really good and while that's burning I'll just make another one here. It's extremely simple. And there we go, we got a hole through. Set that drill down. We'll cut just another little piece of wick right there. This time we'll pop the wick up from the bottom. So the wick will stick it out to where it's about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. Fold this over. Again, push this down on a flat surface so it kind of packs that wick down into the wax, I guess you could say. And then we just use this little bit of wax right here. Go backwards on my drill, don't cut your fingers. And then we'll take this pack it around the hole because you need something to be packed around that area because the hole is just a tiny bit bigger than the wick and then from here let me move this back a little bit we'll just set that in that little holder here comes the lighter 
And that, my friends, is why I like these little candles so much. You can let that thing burn for hours and any wax that's gonna fall, it'll generally pull around this area right here and they're, they're just very effective. So folks, I wanna say thank you for joining me today on this video of why I like these little molds, these little ingots. They just work good for, for tiny little candles. Hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video, share this video, and until next time, again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Those work very well. Nice little candles, super easy to make.